Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24 seven. And today we're gonna be talking about understanding Shopify payment gateways. So these are the payment gateways that allow you to charge your customer for the products that they're going to be purchasing from your website. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, understanding the exact process that is going on. So there's this nice little chart that I found. And so when you, a customer comes to your website, you are the merchant. And so a customer comes in, they find a product, you are the merchant, and then it directs them to a payment gateway, which is a website that allows them to punch in all their information. And then that payment gateway then sends the information to the credit card processor. And then there's the credit card association, such as like Visa or MasterCard, just a couple of examples. And then you also have then the credit card is issued to the bank. So that is how the whole entire transaction occurs. And today we're gonna to be talking about more specifically the payment gateways, because with Shopify, there's a whole bunch of different ones and it depends on your country. There's a lot of information surrounding that. So we're gonna be breaking it down today in this video. So hopefully you guys can understand more about payment gateways and how to make them work for your stores. So let's get into Shopify payments. This is the default payment processor from Shopify that they recommend you to use. And personally, I would recommend you to use as well because it is the cheapest. There is no actual uh, transaction fee for using this payment processor. It's the one that is default with Shopify. It's powered by Stripe. Uh, so it works really, really well. However, this becomes an issue for some people because it is only available in the United States, Puerto Rico, Canada, United Kingdom, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore. So if you're not in that country, you can't use Shopify payments when creating your Shopify store to accept the credit card payments from your customers. So that's a big issue for a lot of people. How, and getting more into Shopify payments, if you are in the country, if you are within those countries that I just listed, uh, we'll get into more what you can do if you're not in one of those countries listed. Well, uh, we'll get into that later in the video. But with this one, with Shopify payments, uh, in order to get an actual lower credit card rate, depends on your Shopify monthly plan. So as you can see on the left, it says 2.9% plus 30 cents. That is the default credit card rate for Shopify payments that they give you now that is lowering you can get it like a lower rate if you pay for a higher shopify monthly plan the default 29 dollars a month gives you that standard credit card rate if you increase into the next plan i believe it's 2.7 percent plus 30 dollars 30 cents plus 30 cents not 30 dollars uh if you increase from the 29 dollar a month plan which is the basic Shopify plan. If you increase, I think it's $79 a month for like the pro plan, then it becomes 2.7% plus 30 cents. So, and then the, the one after that, I think is just a flat 2.6% and no 30 cent add addition to it. Uh, so there's a lot of different credit card rates that are associated with just Shopify payments, depending on the monthly plan that you pay for. So if you want to lower your rate, uh, you just go in and click the get a lower rate and then it, brings up the page with what monthly plan do you want to pay for? Honestly, I've only ever used the basic plan because for the monthly fees and the percentage, the 0.2% difference is really not a big thing for me, unless you're doing like massive volumes of sales, then getting a lower credit card rate might be more valuable for you. Now the transaction fee, like I said before, Shopify payments does not have a transaction fee. So that is good for Shopify payments, but what if you are one of those people in another country outside of the United States, or you just personally don't want to use Shopify payments? Maybe you have some issues with them and uh, using it on your store. Maybe you just you don't like it, right? You want to switch to some other payment processor, okay? There's a lot of other payment processors available, such as to checkout, Stripe, and there's a whole laundry list of other ones as well. Uh, Shopify has a list of over 70 different payment gateways on their website that you can go through and select which one you want to use go through and do some research on each of them and then find one that works for your country. Because some of the ones they have, they only work in like Australia, New Zealand. There's some that only work in the United States. There's, there's a whole bunch of different payment processors. Find one that you like. You like the benefits that they offer you. They have low fees and they work in your country because you know certain payment processors only work in certain countries, just like Shopify payments. Obviously, if you're in one of the countries that's available for Shopify payments, just use Shopify payments. 
but maybe you want to use a different one if you're in another country that could also be an issue for you so these are these are the a uh, couple of different ones like to check out in stripe there's a huge list of other ones as well that shopify has available for people because they understand not everyone's in those state in those uh countries that i just mentioned before for shopify payments so there there should be one that can work for you for your country now each one also has a variety of different rules so some may charge a higher transaction fee than others some may also have a, a rule where you have to be selling online for at least 90 days or something like that like there's a lot of minimal uh minimum balance like type rules type of stuff like that that you may need to have done something on your website first to be able to use the payment processor. So just double check on each of the payment processors uh, and just find one that will work for you because it's a huge list of them and you know not all of them work for everybody. But that is really important to, to find something to at least be able to accept credit cards because you don't want to be running around without a credit card payment processor because then you can't get paid for selling products. It's kind of a problem. So obviously you're, you're, you just use a different payment processor. That's the whole point. So now another thing is what about PayPal? So PayPal allows you to use, you know, you can accept payments, works worldwide. What is so, you know, what's the different, why don't I just use PayPal altogether and just don't even use a payment processor for credit cards. The thing is with that is like, obviously PayPal is different from card processors and it limits you if you only accept PayPal payments. So if someone comes on your website, tries to buy a product, they don't have a PayPal account and that's all that you accept, you're not gonna get that checkout. You're, you're gonna have an abandoned checkout and then you're not gonna make a sale because you didn't have a credit card processor available on your checkout page. So you wanna make sure that you have a credit card processor because it's different from just PayPal. If someone doesn't have PayPal, then you can't get paid. So that's a big issue. So definitely make sure if you if you can, you know, have both. That would be awesome. Have a PayPal and credit card. That's going to be your best bet because then you're going to be able to accept the most amount of payments uh, for selling products in your store. So that's what I would definitely recommend for you is to have both. Do research on the different payment processors. Find one that works in your country that works for you that you like. And roll along with that because you're going to want to be able to accept as many kind of payments as possible uh, and find something that just works really well for you. So guys, if you have not actually started your Shopify stores yet, I do have a 14 day free trial link down in the description box below. If you want to click that, it does support the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you doing? Hit that dang subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well so you get notified for future videos, uploads and all that good stuff. Leave a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, concerns. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.